Uh, we're here in the Ken Cricket office uh, the night before the fixtures go live, uh, so I thought I'd give you a quick update uh, live from the office. Um, really, really exciting fixture programme for next year, uh, and I think uh, there's lots for the Kent Cricket fan to be really enthusiastic about. Uh, I know I'm uh, one who's been very critical of ECB over recent years and the fixture scheduling uh, that has been presented, and I think uh, many of those issues have now been addressed, and we have a really exciting programme for 2014. I just thought I'd go through some of the highlights. Uh, the first thing to note is that Sundays now is the start day for LV County Championship fixtures. I think it's a great opportunity for people to come and watch regular County Championship cricket, particularly young families. I, I would hope a non-working day will present lots of opportunities to come and watch Championship cricket. So that's the first highlight. Uh, the second is that there are um, four 50 over floodlit games uh, from next year. That's part of the Royal London Cup. So a longer form of cricket. Most of those are midweek. Uh, so even if you can't make the start time, you'll be able to get into the ground and see lots of cricket. So if you can't come out after work, the Royal London Cup, 50 overs, floodlit, uh, will present a great opportunity. There are also three bank holidays. Uh, th that's more luck than anything else, but the, the opportunity again for working people to come uh, and watch games more regularly, three bank holiday days of cricket. And then the 2020 competition, and something we've campaigned very strong on, is the opportunity for people to come and watch 2020 cricket on Friday nights right through the season. So less of a, we've got to get all our 2020 in as, much, in as quickly as possible within a two or three week period. It's now spread right through the season mostly on Friday nights, six of our games will feature Friday nights, lots of floodlit games in that competition. Uh, one other thing that was really important to us was making sure that we kept our um, festivals, so Canterbury Week and Tunbridge Wells Festival, and again ECB have done a, a great job in making sure we can maintain those traditions. Uh, Canterbury Week, slightly different shape this year with 250 over games, bookending a championship game which goes over the course of a weekend. And then Tunbridge Wells, at the moment we've committed to a championship fixture at Tunbridge Wells uh, and we're hopeful that we might be able to build a 2020 uh, fixture into that competition as well. All in all, I make it about 19 days for the working person, if you like, for want of a better expression, but opportunities when working people to, can come. In addition to that, there are four 50 over floodlit games that I haven't counted uh, within that total. So a great spread and a great mix. Uh, ECB are also bringing in new initiatives and I'm sure that will programs. take 2020 to an even wider audience. So all in all, really exciting schedule. Um, lots more opportunities to come and watch cricket more regularly. I should think if you're considering whether membership represents good value, I would hope that with the increased number of days that you could possibly come and watch, uh, that it now represents great value. Uh, and it should also mean that things like the weather and uh, and other activities have less of an impact on your cricket watching. So that's the news from, from here in the club office. Uh, do have a look at the fixture programme. There are opportunities right across all the cricket websites, ECB as well as our own. Uh, make sure you've got them in your diary uh, and look forward to seeing your many more opportunities in 2014.